हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप फॉर एंड्रॉयड टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई सी एस डबल ई फॉर एंड्रॉयड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज आई सी एस डबल ई फॉर मोबाइल वॉट आर इट्स फीचर एंड फंक्शंस एंड देन विल टेल यू हाउ यू गेट how you installed in your on your android phone and after that how you configure the app to make the camera live view and able to access all its feature so keep watching please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one and please press the bell icon so you get the information of all upcoming videos so keep watching so basically icswe is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv cameras on pc it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote location over the internet if we are talking about its feature and functions then you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take a snapshot of the video you control the pdz camera you save the live view of the camera you take a backup of the recorded videos and many more now we'll tell you that how you configure how you get how you installed this app on your mobile phone so for this you should open uh play store and when you open the play store you search for ics double e and when you search ics double e you find like many app like ics double e pro and ics double e so i want to and i want to connect with uh, ics pro just click on this and click on install when i do this it take a few minute to completely install the app and make them open in your on your mobile phone so here it is start downloading so keep them download once it is downloaded then it then it install the soft then install the app and after that your app become visible on your short a screen shortcut now it is installing now again click on open it is now completely installed now just click on the open and click agree now here you should see that it ask for username and password so for username and password you should click on the account login or sign up option just click on sign up option and again click uh, yes here you, you you see that it asks for a username and the password you you want to again and here it asks for a email id to get the code once you do this you are able to log in with the same username and the password now for your ease because i make video for educational and training purpose so there is no time wasting and so i just click on this local login like this okay when i do this here you find that it asks for a notification access and so this is the basic when you do this here you find that on the top of the right corner you find the plus button just click on the plus button when you click on the plus button you have a two options set up my device to wifi and click on add or share device so just click on the add and share device because uh, set up my device to wifi is, is the option when your device and your mobile are connected to the same network and if you want to add any dvr and vr from remote location then you should click on add add share device just click on this and here you find the lot of option like monitor device 
UFO and many things. Okay. Now there is two options. You find a QR code here. Just click on the QR code and it allows it asks to allow you allow. Just click while they're using app. When you do this, uh, it you see that its scanner is on. When you when you are in front of a D, uh, your device means DVR, NVR or whatever you are adding if you are in front of that then you should use this deep skies scan device corner this scan device QR code otherwise you should enter the serial number manually and here I for your ease I do this for you Here is my serial number and after that just click on add device. When I do this just click on I know. You see that it is added. Why? Now you should enter the password of the device. Note please note that this is, this is the password of the device. Just click on this and click OK. Device means the DVR and whatever you are adding. So here you find that my camera is live. Okay. And you find a many option like Fluent. And when you click on the Fluent. Then uh, it start moving in a, in a without any time gap. And here you should have auto option. Here you, 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 you click on the screen. Okay. And this is the mic option. If your camera is mic enabled just click on this mic and you find that uh, you are able to take a snapshot and again you just click on the playback to search on a playback video or photos whatever you want just do this and basically this is the interface of the software and here you just click on the setting you find all the function like whatever you are doing in, a, in your in your DVR or NVR all the option you find at this place like storage management advanced setting general about device when you just click on this you find all the serial number and the device version and the software version and all, everything you find okay so this is the uh, this what I just tell you is the basics of all this app and if you want anything in detail just comment me on a comment sections I will make a separate video on that so keep watching and thank you once again thank you have a nice day